Hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vagai Academy of Mathematics. Again this session we have an interesting question from the concept of permutations and combination. Let's see the question. What will be the sum of all four digit numbers that can be formed using the digits 1, 2, 3 and 4 without the repetition of digits. So such an interesting question we have with this. So let us see the approach to solve this problem and one kind thing I'll just remind it here itself. I want to do this problem once in a very elaborate way. Okay fine yes. So that when you come across such a problem in future you will find it easy to do it. Okay whatever steps which are needed to explain that for the first time when you are looking this you want to feel it more comfortable right. For that reason let me do it in an elaborate way. I will just show the elaborate thing what are all the things that we see here and then it will help you to solve the problem in a more easy way when you see it in further uh, time okay fine yes okay anyways coming back so we are going to find the sum of all four digit numbers we need to find the sum of all four digit numbers that we can form using the digits one two three and four so we have got how many digits here we have got totally four digits here is it or not so our digits we have with us are one two three and four and we need to form four digit numbers so whatever possible four digit numbers how many numbers are possible we need to form all four possible four digit numbers and we are asked to find the sum of all those four digit numbers this is going to be the equation so it is very easy for us to tell that totally how many numbers we can form how many four digit numbers we can form using these four digits it's very easy to say right so however we can form one two three four there are four slots that means this can be first slot can be filled in four different ways, second slot three ways, third slot two ways and last last slot fourth slot will be only one way. So totally we can form 24 numbers using these four digits. After all we are given the repetition of digits is not allowed. Okay, Without repeating the digits we are forming numbers in that case totally 24 numbers we can form. Okay fine yes. Now next is I quickly want to just assemble all these 24 numbers for your views okay fine yes so let me try to do it and also let me try to form or assemble all these 24 numbers in the ascending order okay fine yes okay fine now we form four digit numbers so what will be the smallest possible number smallest possible number will have all its four digits in ascending order i mean the digits will be in ascending order is it or not that means the smallest possible number will be one two three and four that means i will be having my numbers in the form of thousand and something that is how we will be having okay it's yes, fine now we will just finish off those numbers that will start with thousands i mean the first digit is one so let me try to do it quickly so i have one two let me fix this one two is fixed i'll just change four three three and four are interchange i'll get four three okay now next is one i'll put three in the front so one three then two four will come one three four two will come next i will take one four Next I will have 2, 3 will come 1, 4, 3, 2 that's it. So now I have formed the first 6 numbers that start with 1 okay fine yes. Now let's go for the next set of other 6 numbers. Now they will be starting from which digit 1 is over starting from 1 we have formed all 4 digit numbers. Next we will go to the next number that will be 2, 2 thousands okay fine yes. So starting with 2 let's see what numbers and all we can form. So now 2, the other 3 digits are 1, 3, 4. If at all we are forming, I mean arranging in ascending order, this is, will be this will be the first number starting with 2. Okay, next I will have 2, 1, 4, 3. Next I will swap it. 2, 3, I will take 3 as the second digit. Next I will have 2, 3, 1, 4. Then I have 2, 3, 4, 1. And finally I will have 2, 4, 1, 3. And then 2, 4, 3, 1. Now these are going to be the 6 numbers that will start with 2. Okay, let's see the other Six, six numbers that will start with three okay fine yes the next numbers the next list of uh, six numbers that will start with three okay because starting with one over starting with two is also over now start with three so i will have three one two four then three one four two next i have three two four three two uh, one four i will have next i will have three two four one and finally i have three four one two then 3, 4, 2, 1. Okay, fine. Yes. So, starting with 3 is also over. And next, starting with 4, we will now see. Now, 4, 1, 2, 3. This will be the first number starting with 4. Next, I have 4, 1, 3, 2. Next, I have 4, 2, 
one three next i have four two three one next i will finally have four three one two and have four three two one that's it successfully we have written all the 24 numbers and if you notice i have just grouped these 24 numbers in six groups six groups i have grouped you can clearly visualize it so first six numbers they start with one the next six numbers start with two next six numbers start with three and last six numbers start with four so i have successfully assembled all these 24 numbers in front of you okay fine yes now our task is to find the sum of all these 24 numbers and i'm not going to add all these numbers one by one and get the answer instead i'm going to do a small trick okay fine yes that's what i'm going to do now now to find the sum of these numbers what trick i'm going to use is just take sum is equal to so as to understand only i have just made this list if you are very clear, you can do this process very directly without even listing these numbers, okay? But to have a clarity is why I have listed this 24 numbers and then showing it to you. Now listen very carefully what I am going to do. Now, however, we have got a total of 24 numbers and these 24 numbers are going to be formed with only these 4 digits 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now look at each of those digits. For example, let us take the thousands digit. Thousands digit means technically the first digit, okay? Yes. Now, we will be having these 24 numbers and anyways, these 24 numbers are going to be filled with only those 4 digits and technically, this thousands digit will also be occupying with any one of those 4 digits only. Now, total 24 numbers, if I just divide the 24 by this 4 digits, I will be having 6, which means I can clearly understand that every digit will occupy this thousands place for 6 times. I hope you understand my point. Total 24 numbers are formed and with four digits we are forming okay in that sense my thousands digit if you see however thousands digit must be occupied by these four numbers and each digit will occupy occupy for how many numbers that is my calculation so 24 by 4 because the numbers are symmetric they are going to be exactly the same count is it or not in that case i divide 24 by 4 each digit is going to occupy the thousands place for exactly six six times so i take this and this as an advantage to find the sum of these numbers in the thousands place okay let me do something now i'll just write thousand multiplied by multiplied by now what i'm going to do i got it anyways that my first six numbers i have got one is it or not my first six numbers i've got one in the thousands place which means like i'm going to multiply thousand with six times of one and next six times of two and six times of three and six times of four is it or not once i do this i will be getting the sum of all these numbers in the thousands place alone yes or no fine yes so let's technically clearly do do that so anyways here i will be getting one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one that is going to be what one six are six next here i will have two plus two plus two and so on up to six times this will be nothing but two six are twelve and next is three six are eighteen plus four six are twenty four now everything multiplied by 1000. Why 1000? Because I am getting what will be the sum of all these thousands positions. That's why I multiplied by 1000. Okay, thousands position is clear over. Now come to the next position which means hundreds position, 100. Now let's collect all the digits what we see in the hundreds position. Now take a look on the hundreds position. What happens now? Here also if you see the same thing happens. Anyways, hundreds position should also be occupying for all these 24 numbers and again hundreds position must be also occupied only by these four digits which means they will be symmetrically present is it or not in that sense in that sense i mean like they will be equally present which means like 24 numbers four digits should be occupying that means hundreds position if you see each digit will be occurring appearing for exactly six times so in that sense if you if you if you want you can even check it and see right okay so if you see here I can see this one if you check okay fine is if you check this one for example you take this one one is nowhere present here in the hundreds position but here one is present two times here one two times here one two times which means one will be there for six times in the hundreds position same for the other four digits also other three digits also okay so if you take two also two also you'll be having exactly present for six times see here here once once here and then here so two two so totally six times you see the digit two in the hundreds position so the same logic applies for your hundreds position also and hence i can do the same calculation what i have done for 
1000 times of whatever I did. Okay, fine. Yes. So 100 times of the same thing will come, which means 6 into 12 into, sorry, 6 plus 12 plus 18 plus 24. I hope you got this calculation how this comes. Okay, fine. Yes. I'm just simply adding what is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That is what is 6. And then 2 plus 2 plus 2 up to 6 times is 12 and so on. Okay, yes. And now if you are very clear, the same thing will only happen for tens position also. Because tens position also, if you see, each digit will appear for exactly 6 times. So 10 times of, I do the same thing. 6, 12, 18 plus 24. And then finally, once position, once position, again the same thing happens. Okay, fine, yes. So 6 plus 12 plus 18 plus 24. Okay, fine, yes. So I hope you are clear with this process what we have done. Just to explain, this is why I have listed these numbers. But for no other reason, you have to do this. Just do it for only once. I just want to, for that process to show it in an elaborate way, for a better understanding is why I just listed all these numbers. And other than that, you don't have to do this hereafter whenever you see any such question. Okay, fine, yes. Okay. And coming back, yes. Now you got to understand that the digits' is presence is going to be equal in any place. The only thing is the order in which they appear will differ. But the thing is, the number of times they appear will be the same. Now, in this case, this expression, when I simplify, this will come to give me what is this, what is going to be the sum of all these 24 numbers. Is it or not? So, let's quickly do this. So, what will happen? Now, anyways, I have 6 plus 12 plus 18 plus 24. This total will give you how much? So, 6 plus 24 will be 30. And again, 12 plus 18 will be again 30. Which means this entire thing will give me 60. Is it or not? That means 60 times of 1000. Then 60 times of 100. 60 times of 10 and 60 times of 1. That's what I will be getting, right? I will factor that 60 outside. So, I will be left with what? 1000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 1, which will be technically 1111. And this will give you 60 into 1111, which will be 6666 followed by a 0. And that matches whichever option B. So, option B, 66,660 is going to be the right answer for this particular question. I, fold, uh, I hope like you felt this question to be uh, something interesting and easy also. So I want you to take a look and then any doubts based on this question, I request you to post in the comment box. When I see it, I'll see to rectify your doubts. Again, we'll catch up with some other interesting question. See you soon there. Thank you so much.